enjoy finding sort of a shape coming out of a square block of stone. That sort of gives me a lot of a lot of thrills really to just think that you can come up with something. In the early days it was mainly um, smaller works. I was doing some carving, some plasters, and then I got polystyrene, some of the polystyrene that was being wasted at Moors, I could use and glue it back together and make bigger blocks and make some big sculptures for myself. Now I'm doing many more carvings than I am bronzes, but it's still nice to have, you know, all different things on the go at the same time. You just keep turning it and looking at it, really, and drawing on it, and you change your mind as you do it, because you're coming in from all sides, you're trying to work around the piece of stone. By pressing this into clay, and then seeing what you get, and then working on it, chopping bits off, adding bits, you come up with products. When I started off, I would have been influenced by Moore because I'd grown up with his work all around me. Henry Moore's sort of uh, studios being there when I was a child and, and looking at what was going on. And then eventually you get around and you develop your own sort of style. I think over the years, it's not sort of, it's very gentle the way it comes. It sort of just takes over. First thing is, is drawing on it, and then, then actually starting to clean the stone up, just to make sure there's no imperfections in it, because you can hear it as you, you know, it, it sort of rings a bit. If it's if it doesn't ring, it's still in, most probably got a damaged part or a fault in it. I think it's just easier to to chop a bit off of this because if you. If you chop it off of here, you can't put it back on. But if you chop it off of here and it doesn't look right, you can put it back on, reshape it, and then you go onto the stone. So it's just a way of working out a bit whether it will work or not. When I first start to look at an idea, first thing that comes into my mind sometimes is maybe the body or parts of the body and I'll work from that and to start with. It might go off in sort of another direction. Come off of a press cutting and I made it as a piece of jewellery for a friend. And then I did a, a, a medium-sized version of it and then a large one, which was um, bought by Kirk Douglas. So really, it had a life starting as a piece of jewellery and ending up as a large six-foot sculpture. Maybe there's things that you see that will influence you that will go in a different, take you in a different direction. The British Museum especially in looking at the different countries are. It's everything. I don't know what I'd do if I didn't make sculpture. I think it's, it's a lifestyle, isn't it? You get used to it, you go and you look at other people's exhibitions and things as well, and so your whole life gets taken over by it, really. You get up in the morning, you think what you've got to do. It's just a thing you feel you've got to do. Passion, I suppose.